Hey guys! Today we're going to be making this cute miniature beach in a tin, so I really hope you'll enjoy it. First you're going to need any type of tin of your choice. The one I'm using is from some licorice. I started out by adding some clay to both sides. This is going to be the base for the sand and one thing you do want to keep in mind is that when adding clay to the lid you want to keep it super thin, especially around the edges, otherwise the tin is not going to be able to close. For the bottom part, if you want, you can use a dotting tool or something similar to kind of dig a hole. And this is going to be for a hidden treasure. And you also want to make a simple lid, which is going to sit on top. After baking, I first painted the remaining portion of the tin with a beachy, sandy kind of color. And I then went in on top of that with some blue paint. For the sand, I first took some white sand and mixed it with paint, then added glue to the sand in the tin, and added the actual sand on top. For the water, you want to mix up some resin. I tinted it using acrylic paint. Pour this in. And then once it's about set, you can use a tool to add some texture. As for the decorations, I first made a simple beach or pool float. I chose to make a simple donut, but of course you can make anything you want.
After baking you can add some details using acrylic paint and then seal it with a glass glaze. To make beach towels, I just cut out rectangles from thin sheets of clay and then added some texture using a toothbrush. And just to make the sand look less empty, I also added some starfish and some shells. To make a quick bucket, I wrapped some clay around a needle tool. Added a handle and then baked. After baking, I glued it in place and added some sand to the inside. And of course you can't have a bucket without a shovel. I made a beach ball using white clay, which I also painted using acrylic paint after baking. To make the most basic sand castle you can, I just took a piece of the sand car, baked it, added glue and sand to the outside, and then made a simple flag. And while the flag was baking, I just added the hidden treasure, which in my case are some nail art studs. And lastly, I made a super advanced map, which leads to the treasure. Seal everything with glaze and you're done.